everyone, my name is Rob with DeWalt Anchors and Fasteners. Today we're going to walk through how to install DeWalt AC100 Plus adhesive with threaded rod or rebar into solid base material. Please note that this is not a substitute for the product instruction manual. All users of this product need to read the instruction manual prior to any installation of DeWalt anchoring systems. The first thing we'll discuss is personal protective equipment, known as PPE. Always wear all the appropriate ANSI or NIOSH rated PPE. Reference the DeWalt instruction manual as well as your company safety guidelines to determine the appropriate PPE depending on the tool, anchor, and application you'll be doing. First drill a hole into the base material with a rotary hammer drill and a carbide drill bit to the size and embedment depth required by the selected steel hardware element. Reference the installation specifications for the threaded rod and rebar. The tolerances of the carbide drill bit must meet the ANSI standard B212.15. If there is any standing water in the drilled hole, all of the water must be removed from the hole prior to cleaning. To clean the hole, start from the bottom or back of the anchor hole and blow the hole clean with compressed air a minimum of two times. If the back of the drilled hole is not reached, an extension must be used. Use the hole cleaning equipment selection table to determine the brush diameter for the drilled hole and brush the hole by hand. You can also attach the brush with an adapter to a rotary drill tool or a battery screw gun. Brush the hole with the selected wire brush a minimum of two times. A brush extension must be used for a drilled hole depth greater than six inches or 150 millimeters. The wire brush diameter must be checked periodically during use. The brush should resist insertion into the drilled hole. If it does not, the brush is too small and must be replaced with the proper brush diameter. Finally, blow the hole clean again with compressed air a minimum of two times. Once again, if the back of the drilled hole is not reached, an extension must be used. When finished, the hole should be clean and free of dust, debris, ice, grease, oil, or any other foreign materials. Always check the adhesive expiration date on the cartridge label. Do not use expired product. Review the safety data sheet before use, as well as the published gel, or sometimes referred to as working time, and cure times. Cartridge adhesive temperature must be between 23 and 95 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative five to 35 degrees Celsius when in use, unless otherwise noted. When working in warm temperatures, consideration should be given to the reduced gel time for the adhesive. For the permitted range of the base material temperature, see the published gel and cure times. Unless otherwise noted, do not modify the mixer in any way and make sure that the mixing element is inside the nozzle. Attach the supplied mixing nozzle to the cartridge. Load the cartridge into the correct dispensing tool. Always use a new mixing nozzle with a new cartridge of adhesive for all work interruptions exceeding the published gel or sometimes referred to as working time of the adhesive. Prior to inserting the rebar into the filled drill hole, the position of the embedment depth must be marked on the anchor. Also, be sure to verify that the anchor element is straight and free of surface damage. Adhesive must be properly mixed to achieve the published properties. Prior to dispensing the adhesive into the drilled hole, separately dispense at least three full strokes of adhesive through the mixing nozzle until the adhesive is consistently gray in color. Review and note the published gel and cure times prior to injection of the mixed adhesive into the cleaned anchor hole. Next, fill the cleaned hole approximately two-thirds full of the mixed adhesive starting from the bottom or back of the anchor hole. Slowly withdraw the mixing nozzle as the hole fills to avoid creating any air pockets or voids. A DeWalt approved plastic extension tube or equivalent must be used with the mixing nozzle if the bottom or back of the anchor hole is not reached with the mixing nozzle. Piston plugs must be used with and attached to the mixing nozzle and extension tube for horizontal and overhead installation in concrete with anchor rod from 5 eighths of an inch to one and a quarter inch in diameter and rebar size from number five to number 10. Insert the piston plug to the back of the drilled hole and inject as we talked about before. During installation, the piston plug will naturally extrude from the drilled hole by the adhesive pressure. In the case that flexible tubing is being used, 
The mixing nozzle may be trimmed at the perforation on the front port before attachment of the tubing. Verify the mixing element is inside the nozzle before use. Do not install anchors overhead or upwardly inclined without installation hardware supplied by DeWalt and receiving the proper training or certification. Contact DeWalt for details prior to use. The anchor should be free of dirt, grease, oil, or any other foreign materials. Push the clean threaded rod or reinforcing bar into the anchor hole while turning slightly to ensure positive distribution of the adhesive until the embedment depth is reached. Observe the gel time. Now ensure that the anchor element is installed to the specific embedment depth. Adhesive must completely fill the annular gap at the concrete surface. Following installation of the anchor element, remove excess adhesive while protecting the anchor element threads from filling with adhesive. For all installations, the anchor element must be restrained from movement throughout the specified curing period by using temporary wedges, external supports, or other methods. Minor adjustments to the position of the anchor element may be performed during the gel time only. Allow the adhesive anchor to cure to the specified full cure time prior to applying any load. Be sure to reference the gel and curing timetable on the installation sheet. Do not disturb, torque, or load the anchor until it is fully cured. After full curing of the adhesive anchor, a fixture can be installed to the anchor and tightened up to the maximum torque by using a calibrated torque wrench. Be sure not to exceed the maximum torque of the selected anchor you'll be using. That's it. You're ready to install DeWalt AC100 Plus adhesive anchors.